In just a few days, the Social Security Administration will announce the 2023 Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA. It's widely expected that this adjustment will be one of the largest increases, one of the largest increases in history. The often quoted and widely, widely respected Senior Citizens League, well, they're predicting that the increase could be as high as 8.7%. Their crystal ball prediction, well, it's caused many people to dance in the streets, and I mean this literally. I've had viewers contacting me, and they're expressing their happiness, their pleasure, in this 8.7% prognostication. But I also have to say that not everyone is happy with 8.7%. Instead of dancing in the streets, some people, some folks, some viewers have felt a funeral dirge was more appropriate. Now, I'm going to tell you why the 8.7% COLA prediction is disappointing. And I'll tell you why right after this break. <music> Welcome back to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. Before we get into the COLA, the 2023 Social Security Cost of Living Increase, what I do want to say is this. This video is sponsored by Career Fitter. Career Fitter produces one of the best career aptitude tests that I have ever reviewed. I've got a link to the free Career Fitter Career Aptitude Test in the description box. So now let's get on to our video. As I said in the opening, in just a few days, the Social Security Administration, well, they're going to announce a 2023 Cost of Living Adjustment, or, or COLA. Now, it's widely expected that this adjustment will be one of the largest increases in history. The often quoted, widely respected, as I always say, Senior Citizens League, well, you know what? They're predicting the increase could be as high as 8.7%. And this crystal ball prediction, well, it's caused dancing in the streets. And I mean that literally. It's caused in dancing in the streets because the average retiree benefit of $1,656 would increase would increase by $144 per month. This is no small sum given that Social Security is a major source of income for many retirees. But based on inflation through August of 2022, the Senior Citizens League, well, they're calculating, they've calculated that the current average benefit of $1,656 is short by about $43 a month or $417 a year. Colas, yeah, they've fallen woefully short for a long time. Now, even though colas have increased Social Security benefits by a total of 64% since 2000, the typical senior, well, their expenses through March of 2022, they grew by more than double that rate to 130%. So yeah, 8.7% of coal increase, that sounds good on the surface for millions of retirees, but it's not enough. The Senior Citizens League, well, they say a Social Security benefit of $1,876 would be required just to maintain the same level of buying power as a person had in 2000. In other words... Colas, God bless them, they've done very little to maintain the buying power of recipients who paid into this program all their life and who've counted on Social Security benefits when they retire. So that's why in the opening of this video I said instead of dancing in the street at the Senior Citizens League projection or crystal ball prediction of 8.7%, many retirees, they feel more like they should be participating in a funeral dirge. <laughs> Eight point seven, yeah, it's not enough, but it's more than recipients received last year, and it's certainly more than recipients have received in years past. For now, eight point seven percent, it will make it will make a meaningful contribution to the monthly Social Security checks that many of you out there receive, and certainly many of the viewers here at Over Fifty TV. Well, it's all I got for you for right now. I do want to once again thank. I want to thank Career Fitter for sponsoring this video. Again, there's a link to their free career aptitude test in the description box. Well, as I always say, have a great day, everybody.